guys, what's up, Ethan here, aka Swifty Ethan, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, in this video, I am going to be showing you how to make a cool M Lab style or a normal uh, thumbnail. So, uh, basically, I'm going to be showing you how to do it on Photoshop Touch. Now, you can download Photoshop Touch on Android or iOS. Um, it's a pretty cool app. You can down, uh, uh, you know, edit your um, text, and you know, it's basically like Photoshop on the PC, but on an Android and iOS device. So right here on the uh, top left-hand corner, it says Adobe Photoshop Touch. So you can go in the App Store or the Android Store and uh, down, uh, type in Adobe Photoshop Touch, or you can go to the link down below in the description and download it from there since it isn't available on the play store and i don't know about the app store so you might just want to find it yourselves i'm really sorry but yeah but um yeah let's get straight into the um uh tutorial so i'm saying uh, a lot of times but whatever um so the um size is gonna be a 1280 by 720 so that's the normal thumbnails um size and next i am actually going to import um my text now i'm not doing a text from the app but i'm using this app called a uh, fonto to uh create my text so um basically you can download fonto on the ios store or the app store and basically it's a um an app to let you uh, you know get your um what do you say get your um your thingy your text so then you can also edit your text in that but uh, i would suggest editing your text on here since it's way better so uh, today i'm going to talk all about that and blah blah blah, blah, blah and talk all about editing your text and all so um yeah i'm just going to reposition that right there next you have to go to uh, select pixels right here and hit select pixels and go to this at sign and and sign and go to gradient okay so right here it is a, a red gradient for me but i'm going to switch things up and instead of a red gradient i am going to go for a grayish gradient like that okay or a dark gray gradient yeah there we go that's better so um there we go i've got for the dark gray gradient and now i am going to go to brightness and contrast and increase my brightness a bit just like uh let's see just like that okay because i want the um gradient to show up next um you have to uh create an empty layer okay and then you go to fill and stroke and fill that up right there okay so fill the layer and next you go back to the uh, bottom layer right there where your text is and uh, you just select your pixels again and then go back up and hit cut and next up you have to go to this uh layer kind of icon right uh, down there and you have to go and where it says blend mode it's currently a normal uh, not normal but normal and you just have to uh set it to linear dodge add so next up we are going to go to the fx and add a gaussian blur um so as you can see it uh shows up these like um cool uh, white lines around it and yeah it's pretty cool not a lie and then you go back to edit and hit extract and there we go there's your text right there in all of its glory and then you can just merge it down like that and there we go that's the part of your text where you get the outer glow next uh you have to add in a stroke for your text so right there i'm gonna add a stroke so you go up to this uh, part uh fill in stroke and then go to stroke and um basically i'm going to select a um, color that looks good and i'm going to set it to uh the width to six so right there it looks pretty cool and now i'm going to um, duplicate this layer right there so you click on the plus and hit duplicate layer then go back down and hit select pixels and fill in stroke and instead of 
uh, stroke, you're gonna hit fill and you have to go and get a darker color. So I'm just gonna go for that as a darker color since I want my background to be way darker. So, uh, well not my background, but around the this part of the text. So then you hit this uh, transform button up there and you hit this uh, four uh, arrow button right now, which I'm pointing to, which is black. It's down on the button after. And you hit that and it's basically a pixel nudge. And you keep on hitting the bottom uh, arrow right there okay and basically it will get the uh, background to like drop down to get give you like this cool 3d effect and then you just um you know merge it down once again like that and there we go um now you can just keep it like this or if you want to go a step further you can um try to um go to fill and stroke once again and do a stroke and now we're going to put it a bit darker like that okay and then we're going to try to fill this up um like so wait a minute so we're going to have to select the pixels first okay probably because that's the best thing to do and uh yeah then we are going to actually why is it doing that i don't know my thing is going away so it's like taking over so um it's good that you um, duplicate your layer once again okay like that and then you go to the bottom layer and then hit fill and stroke and then add in your stroke like that so that's where my stroke is gonna end uh, right there since it covered up all the text of there and now I am going to merge it down once again okay merge down and I am going to duplicate it once again. Okay, yeah, I'm duplicating it a lot. And now I am going to select the bottom pixels again. Okay, uh, and I am going to go to fill and stroke once again. And I'm going to hit fill and go just a little bit, teeny tiny bit darker. Okay, and then you go back to transform. You use the pixel nudge thing and you drop down your pixels so that it looks like that pretty cool eh and there we go you have the 3d effect down below as well and for the final layer well first i'm gonna merge it down like that and now for the final layer i am going to add a white stroke around it so there we go i'm gonna go for stroke and hit white and go for like a level six stroke or whatever level six level six not level but yeah a number six stroke whatever you call it okay so let's try to go to six there we go six is okay and now again once again for the last time i'm going to duplicate this layer go back down again select pixels uh, go to fill and stroke and go to fill again and this time i am going to go for like a light gray color like that and then i'm gonna go to transform pixel nudge once again and just nudge this a bit down to give it the last 3d effect like that and there we go now you just have to merge your thing back down so merge it down and there we go your text is now done and now you can add in your background and stuff. So I am gonna go to, um, let's say downloads, and I am gonna select this thing right here. Um, and I'm gonna put this as my background right now, just for the sake of the video. Um, and then you can actually like select your color of background and stuff, but I'm not gonna do that uh, today. Um, although you could, so, um, yeah now i am probably actually you know what let me just get it a bit reddish kind of like that okay and get the green not, not pink but like red so if you do know what i mean like reddish like that or whatever oh let's just keep it like that like a pinkish color and now i am going to go for the gradient again and this time for the gradient i will once again uh, get this up, but I'm gonna get it up to like a reddish color like that. Okay, 
So like it's gonna be red and it's gonna the opacity is gonna be a bit low. Um, but yeah, that's a good enough red right there. And then there we go. That's my thumbnail and I can like um, you know add flames to it. Okay, so I'm gonna add flames to it and everything will be listed down below in the description. Um, so I'm gonna enable this button right here when it shows it's open so that you can free transform. Um, so right there, it looks pretty cool. And yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope this video did help you out. Um, everything, the text, the flames, the whole pack, and um, everything will be basically listed down below in the description. Well, the, the pack and the text only. And the download link to PS Touch and Fonto, which I got my font from. So you do have to download your font. So there we go. I said I listed my font. Uh, it's actually called Dimbo, so you can actually search it up yourself if you're not going through the link. Um, and yeah, that's basically all for today's tutorial. So yeah, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!